If you're looking at the business process diagram, uh, it is uh, good to have a document when you design an architect uh, system as a uh, solution architect. Uh, this diagram should include systems included in particular process for. I personally prefer to use swim lens, the starting action and actor activities included each stage and whether they are manual or automated. The logic that controls moving from one step to another or from one system to another. Data that has been exchanged between system. Um, so this is a hypothetical scenario of a uh, business process diagram. Um, you can have this is a changing process. This is a public website. Customer lands on website and then customer can see business offers, so forth. Thank you message displayed on screen. Um, customer will receive an email uh, such as we received interest and it end one flow. And then he signs up, the, it creates a lead and then lead gets generated. Um, so lead gets assigned to the right person. Sales have received an email notification. Sales have checks the record. Sales have cannot qualify leads to an account contact an opportunity. You know all that. Real sales have enabled uh, the portal community access to the customer. So you can access the portal, customer portal. Customer receive an email to link the, uh, to set up the credential in, uh, credentials. The next time customer follow the link and to the branded page, they set up the, and they set their new passwords. Customer is logged in automatically to the portal community. Customer can see company details and their own personal details. The next one is a customer complete all missing data. And you, 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 customer can indeed move forward as possible. Say so receive the notification, say so moves the application to stages, define a process. At a certain stage, the record will get automatically sent to the order forming system. Customer receive a notification. So, so these are simple uh, business process flow. The first, uh, if you look at the very top layer is a public website. The second layer is Salesforce sales. Um, cloud. The one below is a Salesforce community cloud where you user does the uh, customer does the password settings and you know sign uh, signing up and uh, filling up data um, on the community. The last layer is the Salesforce sales cloud. Uh, yeah, so.